I attended the Lower Fernery School from 1929 till 36. Well, my brother and I, the last three years in school, we got 50 cents a month. Having the fires going ahead of time in the winter, it had a big round stove and then about this far out had another sheet metal around the oven. So you, you could burn yourself on it, but it wouldn't just kill you anyway. But. Well, as a retired school teacher, I would drive by Alvador Road and I'd see that schoolhouse. And then all of a sudden it came up, you know, for sale and it was either going to be torn down or it needed to be moved and, and Tom and I were like, oh my gosh, we, we can't let it be torn down. We have to move it. It'd be perfect for an education center for our mill on our site. And so we thought, let's go for it. Let's do it. We want to make it a destination. You know, it would be a good place to come and, you know, bring the family. They can go into the schoolhouse. They can look at the living history. They can uh, watch the mill. I mean, it'll just be a destination for people to come to from all over. The feedback we get from the experiences the children get when they do come uh, and visit our farm without yeah. this kind of a facility uh, is phenomenal. And this will just be a huge benefit for that learning process. The last day of school on the far side there, I impressively carved my name on. I know I shouldn't do it, but I did it. Yeah, <laughs> I can remember that. This was the last day I was at this, anybody was at this school because they shut down the school when we, three of us graduated from this school and there weren't enough students to keep the, to build the school going after that, so they shut it down. As near as we can tell, it was built in 1887 to 1889, a one-room schoolhouse uh, prior to 1890 for sure. This is the last piece of living history in Alvador. There's nothing left and this little community has embraced wanting to move this schoolhouse and it's it's really difficult to be able to afford to move something like this. Nobody wants to see it torn down so it, the community is really I think backed and behind this project wanting to to preserve this piece of history because it's all they have left. Well it's meaningful that somebody would go ahead and rejuvenate something that you think you're going to melt down. But it's, going to, it's going to stand after you get through with it, Tom. I know you. Well, the first phase will be to move it and get it placed on a solid foundation and to restore it as much as possible to the way it was. I, I can just see the people coming into the schoolhouse and looking at all the names that are still on the schoolhouse from 1909 1936 and to be able to connect that and just think oh my gosh this is living history you know here's the name of the person that is on the wall to me I want to see there's those eyes light up when they they make that connection because I think that's exciting and I'm hoping that they will think that's exciting too that that has been preserved so we'd like to invite you to be part of this project to restore to this community bring this school back to life and maintain this community asset. It's not just for us, but it's for the entire community. And please come see us sometime and, and see what you've done. It, it's going to be a beautiful project.